Today, we're going to be looking at mic comparisons, okay? Quite a few of you have been asking about mics and where to get started. Um, so I'm not going to compare sound, I'm going to compare usability, price points, uh, kind of build quality, etc. So for years, I've been a AKG girl, and this has been my kind of take two gigs. As you can see, there's the mic in there, there's the receiver, and also a big bundle of wires. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I need to take a bag to just transport this. And then I saw on the market that the NUX would basically uh, do everything that all of this gear would do <laughs> and takes up, what, a quarter of the space and can just go in my sax case. Uh, and I thought this would be amazing. So I thought we'd kind of like dive in and do a little bit of a comparison. Okay, let's get started. So let's go with my uh, default AKG stuff. First of all, AKG, uh, sort of industry standard, about kind of 500 quid for the wireless perception kit and the microphone. Um, this gives me uh, options of five different channels and it will kind of set to a band as well. So usually no issues in terms of conflict of signal with someone else's mic. So that's the receiver. And then I need to take a load of cables with me. Sorry, they're not neatly kind of wound up. So I've got like my uh, power, obviously, and um, I've got jack cables and I've got XLR cables. Um, I also have like a little reverb box um, that I take with me as well. So that connects everything together. And then in my AKG, I've got the wireless the mic, a load of batteries, and also, in case for whatever reason, um, things aren't what they should be, I always have my um, backup, which allows this mic to go fully wired, um, which means that I've got another, I always kind of like backup for backup for backup. Okay, and we'll compare that with this, okay? That's everything, okay? Takes up hardly any room. And what's really cool as well is this is all kind of like magnetically firmly in, okay? So let's then look at kind of assembly and how it fits to the saxophone. So for the AKG, Um, this can just go on your mic, uh, on your saxophone as it is, and this can be kind of strapped on your back pocket or something. But then you've got a wild kind of wire travelling kind of around your body. So I really like the fact that um, this has a little clip on the back, so the microphone can clip in like that. And then this is then what goes on your saxophone. There we go. So as I said, I'm not going to demonstrate the sound. It's more about how things function okay so that's that um on the bottom i've got a mute option an on button and you kind of see hopefully there's a green light there and when that goes red it means i need a new battery so again i can just quickly take out the battery put a new one in and also um, if I needed to and I was getting an interference, I've got five channels that I can just swap between. Um, so yeah, it's nice and sturdy, good build quality. It's all right. And has done the job for me for over five years. Okay, so let's look at the NUX NUX option. So just these two. And there's like a little screw so you kind of click it in and then screw together. And that is it. So much more compact compared to AKG. No dangly wires, which is great. And it's kind of got like a press of pressure point to click it onto the bell. So we're rocking and rolling. Um, and in terms of power on, there's a little button on the side there. And then the receiver. And they're kind of paired now. You can see they've both got green light. There are different settings on here for 
um, and so soprano and tenor saxophone. Uh, and for whatever reason, if the mic was switched off, this will flash red to say that it's it's not connected. So that's it. There is zero wires, which is amazing. You know, there's less sort of points of things going wrong, if that makes sense. Um, and then in terms of charging it up, obviously the other one is mains powered and then the, um, the clip-on battery um, is battery powers <laughs> okay so with this one very handily you've got kind of two options so if i was um on the way to a gig or going between gigs it's all clipped back in you can press on here and that will charge it up and as you can see at the minute i've got two and this is the only wire that comes with it and this is for charging purposes so plug that into a battery or a laptop etc so pros and cons then so i was massively impressed with the build quality the compactness the lack of wires with this one and it's kind of become my default backup and also if i'm doing um like an outdoor gig and i've got my bose speaker because this needs no external power it's an absolute dream to use Two slight things I'd like to mention, however, is I kind of hoped that I could charge um, when I was still playing. So uh, I brought a little battery with me to try and get it to charge and, and it wouldn't do that. So you had to kind of take it off and charge it um, and then put it back into use. And also, um, sometimes, very occasionally, um, but not all DJs um, have like an input, which is... XLR, it has to be jack. So it's only a very small detail, but it might be something to think about. Um, Cause I know that NUX Nooks kind of specializes more in guitar stuff, which is jack option. Um, you know, it's, it's usable and it's fine, um, but it would be quite handy maybe to have that in the case or to kind of have like a, a screw off different clip version for that. So they're the only two kind of slight critiques I have about this but it's now kind of comes with me on all my gigs because it's so compact it just fits in my sax case so I've got peace of mind that either way between my AKG and this one um, that there's always going to be a consistent uh, performance no issues with microphones at all um, obviously if you're traveling abroad etc this is a no-brainer because it just takes up zero room um, so yeah fantastic really really wonderful microphone and um, really, really usable. Um, and AKG, great stuff too. So between the two of them, uh, we've got great options. Obviously, other mics are available, and if you've got any other mics that you guys use or whatever, and you want to drop in the comments how you feel that they work, that'd be great. Um, but that's it. So thank you very much. If you liked this, hopefully you did, <laughs> hit like, hit that bell for subscribe, drop us a comment if you've got any questions about the NUX all the AKG mics. Cheers guys, happy saxing, bye!